Hey everyone, I'm Maddie and welcome back to my channel. I just got my hands on this. It's the Women of NASA Lego Ideas Kit. And I thought it would be really fun if as I build these different sets, together we could all discover something new about the types of jobs you can have at NASA, but also learn a little bit more about these four women. And I'm going to start by building this one, the Space Shuttle, which has not one, but two astronauts. First things first, all of our Lego kits actually have their own little stand so that you can display your Lego pieces, but I've already made these just because it's not it's not really the exciting bit. Um, we're going to start by making our figures and I'm going to begin with Sally Ride. Oh, here she is. I think she's actually got stuck inside the space helmet. Okay, let's put a head on and then maybe we'll be able to uh, pull that out a bit easier. Come on. There we go. <laughs> So we're going to give her some blue trousers and of course she needs some hair, giving Sally her brown hair and she comes with a little accessory as well. She's actually holding what looks like um, a little camera. This is Sally Ride and now we have her figurine. I think we should learn a little bit more about her. Sally Ride was born in 1951 and as a young girl she loved sports, especially tennis and science. So she went to university to study physics and it was while she was there she saw an advert in the student newspaper that said NASA were looking for new recruits, people to join their astronaut programme and for the first time ever women were allowed to apply. So Sally did. Just a few years later in 1983, Sally Ride blasted off into space and she became not only the first American woman in space, but also the youngest American astronaut at just 32 years old. So that's Sally. Now we're moving on to Mae Jemison um, and her flight suit is a brilliant orange colour. And actually we've got an option here, either we can give her um, hair or we can pop on um, her astronaut's helmet, which I think that's pretty cool actually. So there we go, that's May, and she's now joining Sally on the astronaut's platform. May Jemison was born in 1956 and she was always incredibly curious. So she went to university and studied chemical engineering and African studies, but if one degree is not enough, she then went on to study medicine and became Dr. May Jemison. While she was working as a doctor, May saw that NASA were looking for new astronauts and inspired by the likes of Sally Ride, she decided to apply. And in 1992, she became the first woman of colour in space. Now we've made our astronauts, we're moving on to the fun bit. We're going to make the orbiter. And an orbiter is the part of a space shuttle that actually goes into space. And we want to start with a red piece and a blue piece. Tell you what, how much fun is Lego? It is just brilliant. Now we've got this funky little piece. Yes. Um, and now we're putting the, uh, the orbiter's nose on. And that's going on the back. Yes. Yes, it is. All right, and now we're flipping our orbiter over to um, finish off the wings. So this bit could be a little bit complicated. So I've just popped on a window um, and this is where the astronauts can look out whilst they're travelling. And this whole front area is called the crew compartment because it's where the crew, all of the astronauts, would live and they'd sleep. On an orbiter like this one, you could probably sleep around seven to eight crew members. So this middle section that I've just made here is called the cargo bay because it's where all of the cargo or all of the stuff um, would be kept. And that might be scientific equipment and um, maybe satellites or even a fully working laboratory where the astronauts can do lots of different experiments. Last thing to do is just put on the engines at the back. And there guys is our orbiter. That is a really, really cool little piece of Lego. When she was training for her first journey into space, Sally got a lot of attention from the media just because she was a woman. But Sally strongly believed that the women should be treated the same as the men and that all astronauts should be treated equally. When she finally did get up there aboard the Challenger, it was Sally's job to control and move a robotic 
arm. She had to catch satellites and move them around in space. We've got our astronaut and we now have our orbiter, but we need to make the rest of the space shuttle. And that's the fuel tank and the two rocket boosters. So we're going to start by making the fuel tank. And for that, we're going to need lots of these little orange pieces, but it's not enough to get the space shuttle off the ground. It needs a little bit of help with the rocket boosters. Ooh, it looks a little bit like a lightsaber. <laughs> and now I just need to connect these to our fuel tank. Oh, without breaking the fuel tank, that would be preferable. Now, when it actually comes to launch, to lift off, what happens is that the fuel that's inside the fuel tank and the rocket boosters is burnt and it creates lots and lots of gas. And this pushes the whole space shuttle up into the air. But eventually, before it breaks out of the Earth's atmosphere, the fuel tank and the rocket boosters break off, leaving just the orbiter to go into space. And then when it comes to landing, when the orbiter's coming home, it glides back down to Earth and lands a little bit like a plane, like that. Down and locked. We know that Sally Ride flew aboard the Challenger. Mae Jemison, she flew aboard the Endeavour. Your touchdown. May was one of 15 people chosen from 2,000 who applied to become a NASA astronaut. And when she did get to space aboard the Endeavour, she used her skills as a doctor to carry out experiments on herself and the other crew members to try and work out how the human body behaves in space. So she was testing things like weightlessness and also motion sickness, which is that dizzy feeling you get when you're traveling. So all we need to do now is connect our pieces. So we have our platform, which already has our astronauts ready to go. And now I'm just going to connect our fuel tank to the orbiter. And then I'm just gonna mount the fuel tank to this little platform just here. And that is our finished piece. And of course, we've got our two ladies at the front pride of place. But what's amazing is that even after going to space and being awesome astronauts, they went on to do even more amazing things. Sally flew to space a second time aboard the Challenger, but after she left NASA, she wasn't finished. She went on to become a physics professor. She also wrote science books, and she started a company called Sally Ride Science, whose aim was to inspire girls and young women to get involved in science subjects. When May left NASA, she created an international science camp for 12 to 16 year olds. And right now she's the head of an organization called the 100 Year Starship, who are designing a 100 year plan so that hopefully in the future, we might be able to travel beyond our solar system. I really hope you've enjoyed this video guys and if you want to see me make the other two sets in this kit then just let me know in the comments below and whilst you're there tell me if you were an astronaut and could travel anywhere in space where would it be and why make sure you subscribe for new videos stay curious and we'll see you soon